Studios. Now, back to Maddie in the Morning. On KISS 108. Pretty interesting. We're actually going to be getting back to Maddie uh, for the first time in a while. I know as uh, listeners, you've been listening to the show for the past couple of weeks, and obviously you noticed uh, that Matt hasn't been on the air, and you've asked a lot of questions. You've been very curious, and why not? Uh, Matt is a giant in our world. And uh, out of fairness, uh, we figured Matt would want to answer a lot of the questions on his own. Uh, we could have answered questions, but this is a Matt thing. So it's time to hear from Matt. Matt has a story to tell. And, buddy, the microphone is all yours. Hi, radio buddies. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> I know. I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're acting like everything's normal. Everything isn't normal, Maddie. One thing we're proud of you as your listeners, that you're always honest with us. Sometimes you say, well, two honest things and <laughs> get yourself in trouble. I know, and I have been honest for the 41 years I've been with you, and so that will continue now. Uh, this past year uh, has been a little rough for me. I had brain surgery, I had a broken foot, um, I started getting a little grumpy on the radio, which I hate because all I want to do is make people laugh. That's my job, just to make people laugh. And I got off target, I guess you would say. I'm a lucky guy for a million reasons, but five of them are a great wife and four great kids. And my great wife and my great kids uh, talked with me over the last several weeks and helped me come to a decision. And the decision is this, as of now, I am retired. I'm leaving KISS 108 and starting my new life as a mediocre golfer. Okay, that's being kind, let me rephrase. I'm starting my new retired life as a lousy golfer. But uh, we decided it was time. Um, I started at KISS 41 years ago and it wasn't my first radio job, so, you know, add it up, I, you know, I turned 72 years old this year. I mean, it's time. It's time. A uh, couple things I want to say, um, most importantly, that it's been such a glorious run. I'm so appreciative. I can't tell you. It, when I think back to when I started in radio making $2 an hour, I never thought I would mount to this. Uh, I never thought I would win two Marconi Awards, which are given out to the top radio announcer in the country. I won it twice. I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of I put the laughs away on 9-11 and did uh, a serious show where I stayed on for eight straight hours to try to um, be there for you guys. Um, when COVID hit and it was... Um, awful uh and it was very stressful and i was stuck in the house and all that stuff i i just tried every day so hard to be light and fun because i thought that's what you guys my listeners needed at the time and i'm i'm proud that i did that i'm proud that um i was asked to host the boston strong uh, show uh, after the marathon bombing i was very very flattered to be asked to speak on the part of the city uh, that was a wonderful experience. I, um, you know, I interviewed everybody from Tom Cruise to Oprah to Tom Hanks. I, I talked to Hillary Clinton on election day. It didn't turn out so well, but we, you know, joked and it was such a thrill. Um, you know, that that meant a lot. But most of it was the silly stuff, you know, at the Kiss concert in a Spider-Man outfit being lowered from the ceiling and all oh, these silly things that I did over the years with my team just to make people laugh. That's all. That was my job. And I feel as though with a couple of blips here and there, that's what I did. Um, I just, I, I don't know, man. I, 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 I think I, it's very possible that I could cry right now. And I, I don't know, it doesn't feel very manly to cry over a radio show, but, um, yeah, it's been a wonderful run. I'm so appreciative. Uh, let me just list some of the things I am appreciative of. First of all, my team, superb radio talent. Billy Costa, Lisa Donovan, Justin, Winnie, Dom, all of them. I want to thank uh, all of the people who preceded them over the last 40 years who are 
on the show with me. Um, kind of too few to too many rather to mention, but yeah, I want to thank all of them. I, I want to thank the many behind the scenes workers at KISS too, that you guys don't see the program department that picked out the music that we play. You clearly, I don't know anything about the music, so they were wonderful. Um, the sales team who, you know, we don't function without a sales department. They were great. The promotions department, the marketing department, they were so kind to me. Uh, on my 40th anniversary, they put up all these billboards and stuff, and I'll never forget them for that. That was wonderful. Also, the management of uh, iHeartMedia, they were very generous to me, paid me, you know, probably way more than I deserved. Uh, so they're wonderful. And, um, well, here we go. Last but not least my radio pals, you guys, impossible. Not in a million years would I ever, ever thought I would have the following that I have with my silly jokes and my silly interviews. Um, I love you guys. I, 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 I can't, I don't know. Here, I don't know. I, uh, I, I just can't thank you enough. I mean, I don't I don't feel like I deserve it. I don't. I don't. I did the best I could, but I don't still don't appreciate. I, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate what you guys have done. Have you been there and things you've written online and things that, you know, you said to me in public when I would be in a restaurant or whatever, and you'd come up to me and I just I, I'm. <sighs> I don't I don't even feel like I deserved it not that much that it was just over the top I love you guys more than words can express I'll miss you terribly uh, this is really bittersweet um, I agree with my family that it is time to walk away um, but I'm sad I'll miss you all so terribly oh and one more thing if you want to see me come visit me in Florida I love you guys if you want to see me Come down and visit me in Florida.